<clears throat> so I'm going through my ancient stuff that I uploaded over a decade ago not to really watch it because the whole situation of the internet in its own language for its own people is clear and oversaturated anyways I'm just going through it to organize it into playlists somehow with shorts and videos I made approximately 2,000 videos that I've uploaded many are private but they were for the time necessary and don't need to be open right now can be sealed as for this channel the main focus from the data that I'm getting is that we're in a demographic age group of about 18 to 44 so all the 18 year olds you are or will be becoming 44 through God's grace if you make it to that age do not retire at 2022 20, those are critical years for you to feel your natural power without really knowing too much about yourself or having the burdens of knowledge that you think you have to know everything because you don't and the elders 44 year olds have the experience and they can help with whatever needs to be known being of that age it's time to transition for the next 20 years of what's really important good rest awareness healthy food for a strong material being of the cell and complete health so what's necessary for me to do for my corner of the earth and the people that I'm supposed to speak to for them to know this direct language and they're not lost in translation so they are who's supposed to be here we have to do some things to make sure that our next 20 from 18, 20 plus to 44, 44 to 64 are in a trajectory that are going to yield us positive potentials. So I'm going to set this as the podcast theme for this channel that there will be a series of videos that... are focused on increasing awareness on particular things like today i'm feeling about touch we often have hey shadow monkey we often have touch as a thing for our hands because we're holding something we have five fingers sensory in our palm output and inputs there it's a thing with our hands we control it's a brain activity but how much do you focus on when you're touching with your feet we touch with our feet every day constantly we stand on the insole of our shoes our sock so we're touching the floor constantly so if you focus you can shift down to the elongation of your body and your feet from the tension of your brain to your head and you will become more embodied in yourself with your own attention as the operator of your being so it's bringing your higher consciousness to your daily consciousness life from above to below and when you're in that space you need to make sure that you're aware of what you're touching so your roots are connected so touch goes beyond the hand it goes to the feet and whatever you're sitting on 
how are you sitting are your hips comfortable and positioned properly or are they under stress and binding if so these are things that you need to be aware of that things in life are causing your physical body to alter because of this mental condition conditioning the body to sit properly with properly rotated legs as in femurs in the hip sockets <laughs> just uh, the weight adjustments on like your ankles your knees which muscles activate knowing the muscles of the legs how to protect the joints of the knees not holding weight in the knees all that kind of touch is not only at the feet it's through the bones of the body it's being aware of yourself this is our time to be in our bodies we will never get to be in ourselves again and it's up to us to make it what it can be and it starts with things like this so I'm going to start this as a podcast feature on this channel to improve things that are for our own control and up to us to control. It's only us that can do this. No one else can do this for us. So it's up to you to be more aware of what you're touching inside your body with your own body. As in feet. So that's where I'm at. Click subscribe and the bell icon to know when I post other videos as such. I'll probably be in my workshop i like being in the basement because it's underground i am of late october so my tendencies are to be kind of nocturnal in that habitat and i also live stream video games on my other channel so i go live over there i play nhl I'm playing Diablo 3, there's two, two titles there within that one title, so it's the first time I'm experiencing that story, it's kind of very enjoyable, nostalgic to kind of go back into a playtime of how things used to be, but an upgraded version, it's way better than anything that I would have had when I was a kid, so it's like top tier for me, it's good. Um, and then there's the God of War that's continuing. I kind of stopped playing for a bit and then Valhalla came out and I'm better now. But I'm going to continue that because it's like practice. It really takes work. I play a lot of different games and know a lot of different controls for a lot of different series of mechanics. It, uh... It works the brain in different ways to be able to do that in many modalities, I guess. How many buttons are on a controller? Okay, 12. 12 buttons plus 2 joysticks. 14 buttons. 16 buttons. 17. And a sensory pad. It's like over... It's so many functions depending on the trigger pad of what needs to be done it's a uh, very mind expansive exercises that are simply in a an experience with the story so it's good for just being sharp that's all okay i will talk to you sooner then later just click the bell icon whenever i'm inspired to create i will create and i will post if you're here follow up and i will see you in time